This just in on the war in Ukraine. The UN General Assembly world leaders voted to condemn Russia's annexation of Ukraine. They asked nations not to recognize the annexed land as Russia's. Ukraine's president is asking the World Bank for more resources for Russia's war against his country. The plea for assistance comes as rhetoric between the U.S. and Russia heats up. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more. Perhaps Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, is urging the World Bank to help rebuild his country and win the war against Russia. Terror has to lose, has to lose. Ukraine has to win. He's asking for billions to restore schools, hospitals, damaged transportation, and energy infrastructure and damaged housing. As he left for Colorado this morning, President Biden blasted Russia for its latest bombings of civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. It's beyond the pale. That statement follows the president's interview on CNN, in which he issued a pointed warning to Russian President Vladimir Putin about the use of nuclear weapons. He, in fact, cannot continue with impunity to talk about the use of a tactical nuclear weapon as if that's a rational thing to do. The mistakes get made, and the miscalculation could occur. No one can be sure what would happen, and it could end in Armageddon. The president said he does not believe Putin will resort to nuclear tactics, but he said it's irresponsible for Putin to talk about it. The Kremlin fired back Wednesday morning, calling the president's interview both harmful and provocative. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in Brussels for a meeting with NATO defense ministers echoed the president's assessment. Putin's saber rattling is reckless. Nuclear saber rattling is reckless and irresponsible. We don't expect to, to see and hear that kind of behavior from a major nuclear power. Ukraine says since Monday, more than 100 Russian missiles have rained down on the country following an explosion over the weekend that heavily damaged the bridge that connects Russia to Crimea. Austin promised to continue to boost Ukraine's defensive capabilities for both its most urgent needs and for the long haul. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Pope Francis condemned Russia's bombings of Ukrainian city, cities, saying the attacks had unleashed a, quote, hurricane of violence on residents. Speaking to thousands of people at his weekly general audience in St. Peter's Square, he also appealed to those he says have the fate of the war in their hands.